Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about some kick degenerates, some kick freaks. I know, I know. Kick is back at it again with even more freaks and degenerates. And you're probably wondering who it is today. It was in the title, so you're not wondering at all. But we're talking about Zerka and Heal Mike. And I'm sure most of you guys know who Zerka or Heal Mike are, uh, at least through the grapevine of degeneracy. But to summarize it up, they're like those mega alpha male dudes who like basically just make videos with like OnlyFans girls and then just kind of flex that they fuck girls, but in reality, they're just like massive losers who virtually have the most depressing life imaginable. And they also use religion as a shield for their actions, right? They'll they'll go around claiming they're men of God and all of this stupid shit, but then, you know, they do a bunch of things that people would be pretty frowned upon in terms of religion, right? But again, they'll use it as a shield to kind of protect themselves so they can continue to do these heinous and disgusting things. Think of like Andrew Tate, but a little bit lesser, right? Think of think of that. They're they're kind of like the Andrew Tate lovers who decided to go live that Andrew Tate lifestyle, and it's clearly not working out for them. Now they essentially got caught for soliciting a possible minor. And before we really even get into it, according to them, the girl wasn't actually 16, but that she used her sister's ID and she's actually 18. I'm here to tell you that I don't give a fuck and I don't care. I think that's a, a little bullshit. I don't give a flying fuck if she's 18, 16, whatever she is. Uh, I want to start off by talking about Heel Mike and Zerka. Heel Mike, you are 29 years old, and Zerka, you are 30 years old. Before I even get into everything that's gone on this night and in this stream and everything that's gone down, you guys are grown ass men hitting your 30s, having sex with 18 year old women. You're freaks. You're weird. You're creepy. You guys invite a bunch of OnlyFans girls and random women over to your house for parties and drinking and, and drugs possibly and, and sex when you're a bunch of grown ass men who can't even meet women in your same age range because you'll throw up if you do because they're not young enough for you. That's fucking weird. You people are genuinely the, the weirdest people I can ever imagine. You hide behind a shield. These are the same people who are friends with people like Nick Fuentes, you know, the guy who literally claimed that he would want a 16 year old wife and thinks that child marriage should be completely legal. These people are not people to brush off as not creepy, at least. I'm not gonna go as far as to call them pedophilic because because of course we haven't seen anybody do anything pedophilic yet or any possible pedophile instances have shown, but I don't think it's very harsh or hard to believe that these guys are definitely in the range of very, very creepy, uh, let alone the fact that they have a friend, Abby, uh, who's a girl who literally recruits women to be a part of these streams. Sounds very familiar to literal sex trafficking. Now, again, these people aren't sex traffickers. They're not people who are actually trafficking women or anything, but you're doing something extremely shady, you're recruiting random young women to get involved with this incident. Hey, post-March baby here, here to kind of explain the timeline a little better because I feel like in my video I don't really explain the timeline better and I kind of didn't really know much about the entire incident. I kind of got it down a little bit, but I want to explain it a little bit better here so that everybody understands where we're at and what's the pace before I show you guys clips of anything. Thank you to Willie Mac Show for basically making a video, writing down the entire timeline and just showing it. But to kind of explain what is going down or what went down here, Heel Mike and Zerka were out partying on stream on Kick, where they met this girl out in public. So later in this video, I'm going to express the fact that there was this quote unquote girl named Abby who recruits women. And don't get me wrong, that is her job. She is a person that recruits these girls for like, say, you know, Fresh and Fit and all these like shows where they bring women on and stuff, right? But they make it out like she's the one who recruited this girl to this party party. That's not the case. This girl was found on the streets by Zerka and Heel Mike. And when approached by Zerka and Heel Mike, she expresses multiple times that she doesn't even have an ID and they just kind of brush it off like it doesn't matter and make jokes, sexual advances and whatnot towards this girl, even though she clearly isn't even expressing if she's old enough. If you're going out of your way to ask if someone is over the age of 18, that's already a sign that you should probably just not even engage engage in the first place, but they did anyways. Now, the timeline follows through with their friend Josiah pressing multiple times in the entire stream to probably don't engage with this girl and have you checked her ID? Have you done this? I mean, I asked her and she said she was born in 2005 and Heel Mike and Zerka essentially just brush it off and make it out like, no, 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 she has to be older. She has to be. So not doing any due diligence to actually ID check. And later down the line in this video, I will show 
you guys, but we're gonna learn more and more that these guys didn't care to actually do any checking of anything and are going to lie continuously to try to make it look like they're innocent when in reality they clearly weren't innocent through this entire stream. But anyways, I'll I'll spare you guys some time. I'll let you guys watch some clips. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a timeline. Hold it. Prove it. You're 20? ID. How old is this girl? Yeah. All right, just give me the ID before Listen. I look crazy. Let me see. What I'll makes you think you I need to have an ID? You don't have ID on you and you want to come over? Are you out of your mind? Uh, you send me the PayPal request. Yeah, bro. Yo, Sagan, look at this. It's Hi, me. Guys. No, Sagan. Oh. Sagan. Yo, Sagan, stop. <laughs> just I... Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, my... oh. Sip IQ. Nigga, they on my stream. I don't give a fuck. Fake ID? Good. Good. I didn't even know they made those. They even who gives a fuck, you faggot retard losers? Kill yourself. You fucking queer losers. Always bitch. Welcome to Simp IQ. You still so upset if we Tequila? Wait. Yeah, Dave's wait. doing tequila. Should we drink? I think we need tequila. I think we should. Yo, Sagan, come here. Come on. I say we go and get Yeah, we should go. We should. No, we stream. Oh, we're on stream. Oh, she fixed my dick. So, yeah, they are doing some pretty freaky things with this girl who they learned later down the line that she could possibly have been underage. Now, a lot of people question if they checked the ID or if they did any of these extra things. And no, they didn't do anything and put any effort into trying to look at her ID, trying to check for her ID or check for her age or anything. They just tiptoed around the idea and just let her come with because why not? And I'll even show you a clip here where she shows them an ID. This was much later in the party. So not only did they try to use this as proof as, hey, look, we did check for IDs, even though before this entire system and event and everything, you literally didn't check for anything. She didn't have an ID and you were just okay with the idea of bringing this random girl that could possibly be lying about her age to a party and doing freaky things with her. And now all of a sudden you check for ID and the ID, by the way, is a vertical ID that isn't even her ID. So it just makes it even better. Do you have lighter? Chuck, can you see it? <laughs> Wait, these bitches are actually legal? Yeah. Bro, we've been trying to tell you guys. Ew. Like, Kick do you need to see again? Do you want another what? Don't slip up. Don't what slip the up. Fuck? Don't slip up. Give me that. You're. Oh, Josiah is fucked up. I want to say this right now that I think Zerka is not much of a problem compared to Heal Mike. Heal Mike has definitely put himself into a deeper pit by saying something on the lines of this. Mike, I'm just looking out for you. I don't, we don't like teenage girls. I do. So leave. I love them. I love them. So get the fuck out of here, faggot. I love them. So go leave. Are you fucking queer retard losers? Are you kidding? Pathetic. Yes, yo, Mike, because making fun of your audience for being concerned about you possibly having sex with an underage girl is such a such a bad thing. It's such a terrible thing, right? It's so bad that they're looking out for you. At least some of their audience has a sentient brain and comprehension of how this is a terrible look. And I just love how Heel Mike's reaction is to say that I love him. If this is a joke or not, I don't care if it is a joke or not. This is disgusting. You don't joke about having sex with underage girls. You don't joke joke about being sexually attracted to underage girls. That's just not something you joke around about. You leave a digital footprint on the internet. I don't give a fuck if it's a joke or not. Nobody should be making jokes like this in a serious light like this. Obviously, you're gonna have people making jokes all the time like this when they might be doing a podcast or having fun with friends making a fucking joke. You just got caught having a possible underage girl at your party and literally posting a picture saying no regrets with this girl in the bed. Yeah, look 
looks pretty fucking bad on your end. It, it looks pretty bad, so making jokes like this makes you look 10 times worse. Me personally, I don't give a fuck about the context of any of these clips. I don't care about anything that they try to spew. Again, like I said earlier, you are 30 and 29 year old men. There is no reason in any way, shape, or form that you should be going out and partying with 18 year old women praying and praying that these people are 18 and they're telling the truth. He posted something on Twitter to try to lighten the situation by simply saying, last night we got set up by a trusted worker of mine. This is me kicking out the girls, secret recording. She wanted fame so bad that she tried taking us down for it. They're both snakes, nasty and evil women. Told you we are innocent, you stupid fucks. And of course, what I meant earlier when I said that they had a girl who recruited women to bring, that's what they were talking about here. This was a trusted worker who recruited women to come to these parties and events, and essentially she recruited a girl that could have possibly been underage. And then he shows this clip. I didn't even know what I thought I wouldn't have swear on the Bible and God on the and Christ. Bible. Swear on your no swear on your mother, your dad, your whole family, your whole family. Look at me. Your whole family dies if you don't say, if you lie. Are you you're above eighteen? I'm above eighteen on my whole family. Swear to God. I swear to God. Abby, you have been I friends with her. God, You've been friends. Be you. I swear to God on my family, on my dog, on my job, I would not bring you. So I trust you because you know you're respected in the industry. You work for Fresh and Fit. You bring, you know you bring bad bitches. You do other things. You you're a respected person. I don't think you would ever bring us a 16 year old girl to set us up. No, like, I swear I, I wouldn't. And you swear to God, she's I swear above to God, 18. I swear on my job. I swear on my family. I swear on everything. I wouldn't bring this to you. Okay. And thank God for Willie Mac show for providing some just insight on the subject because I think what he expresses is pretty solid here. Mike is straight up lying. They asked for her ID. She said she didn't have it. Zerka continued to kiss her. Then when Josiah said she shouldn't be here, she has no ID, Mike responded, I'm not gonna say that. Uh, we ain't ID checking. This is all on live stream. He then posted this, which is still up in his Discord. And of course, I already showed this to you, but it's the zero regret picture. This is cover up bullshit. This isn't fucking real. You aren't innocent. You're just trying to cover up your disgusting acts with a possible underage girl. And even now, you're still posting shit about how, oh, turns out the girl's actually 18, so that makes it okay. It doesn't make it okay. You let a girl who could have been younger than 18, and even if she is 18, why is an 18-year-old at a party with 30-year-old men? Why? To have sex with them is disgusting. No 18-year-old girl should be going to 30-year-old male parties where they're getting fucked by you, okay? I don't care. That's around a 11 to 12 year age gap. We're not talking about legality at this point. We're talking about morality. And in this circumstance, I think the moral compass wins where a 12 year gap is a pretty bad gap. You going out of your way to invite around 20 to even younger women to your parties because they're baddies and you need to have baddies at your party is disgusting. I do not give a fuck if it is legal in your system or not. You are a creep and what you're doing is preying on young women. And what blows my mind is the amount of people trying to victim blame this girl when she quite literally could be under the age of 18. You are victim blaming a possible 16 year old, not the 30 year old men who should be responsible in this circumstance and not inviting women who are clearly under the age of 21. If this is a party involving drugs, alcohol, possible other things, nobody below the age of 21 should be here. Everybody should be above the age of 21 and possibly close to your age and the sheer fact that this girl clearly looks very young and you didn't take a second to question it to think about it to look into it is ridiculous i watched gamma's video about the subject and he shows a video from the island boys where a girl was 18 and when she admitted that he instantly kicked her out even though she's above the age of 18 he was still disgusted by it at least these retards at least the island boys are comprehensible of the understanding that 18 is still extremely young and they just shouldn't be there but Zerka and Heel Mike think that it's funny and okay to fuck around with the idea that it's okay if they're 18 because the legal system says so. I don't care if the legal system says so. You're still a creep. You're still a degenerate and you're still a freak. Now, Zerka did make a long response to this subject and I'll read it out to you. I did nothing wrong. Followed every professional step by ID checking with multiple people and making sure that it was real by asking Abby before going on with the IRL stream. A trusted worker of ours, Abby, 
clearly sniped us for clout on our off day and lied nonstop with a real ID of her friend's sister that looks just like her. We ditched all the other girls because they were not verified by this worker and stuck with the one girl that was clearly a clout chasing plant and the nuke to the whole broadcast. We did not delete the VOD because we got nothing to hide. We put our whole lives and opinions on 24 hour broadcast and say whatever we want openly for years. Now try answering this question without joking. What would you have done differently? Nothing. That's what, and you know it. Um, Zerka, what I would have done differently is I wouldn't have been partying at the age of 13 with really young OnlyFans women and getting my friend Abby to hire and bring random girls to the party and putting your trust in a random person to do the proper ID checks for these women when they can clearly and easily fake IDs. This is degeneracy at its finest. You are putting no effort into keeping people safe, keeping your reputation safe, and like I said earlier, you don't really care if she's underage. All of these tweets are just saving face. I guarantee you if this was done off the screen, you wouldn't give two shits. You and your friend Heel Mike probably wouldn't care. If you had sex with a 16 year old on accident, you'd probably laugh it off. None of you people take any of this shit seriously, and it really shows a lot. Again, let's look at Willie Mac show bringing this up. This is ridiculous. If you watch the stream, Zerka asks if she's 18. She repeatedly says she has no ID. He continues to kiss her. Then when Josiah says you guys should kick her out, Heel Mike chimes in. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that part. Uh, this is all on stream. Just repeating that same thing. Then this photo comes out. Not sure how authentic the photo is. It's the same. Zero regrets. Good night. And then Willie Mac show goes update. Photo is 100% authentic. The self-incrimination is reaching Andrew Tate levels. Exactly. You people are self-incriminating yourselves as actual creeps and degenerates of the community. Again, I do not care if this girl really is 18 or not. I don't care if the legal system says this is okay or not. Zerka in this same stream tried to wrap his head around it because he's from Canada and Canada's is 16, so it's kind of legal. Obviously, in the country of America, that's not the case. I said what? when. She said December 1st. Go ask her birthday later and see if it's the same birthday. This is not you trolling me. Okay, dude. I'm not doing this for content. Jones. No, because I'm used to Canada, and Canada, you can go to 17, 16. I've never done it, but you can do it. Like, no. This is America. Funny. This is not happening. Either way, I don't care. You are 30 years old and you are fucking around with little kids. Literally, you are fucking around with children. This is degeneracy, again, at its finest. You are literally fucking around with OF girls every day, 24 hours, and you think this type of content is cool and funny behavior, and you think that it's good behavior. It baffles my mind. You people are disgusting freaks, literally. The fact that you can't find people within your own age range, it says a lot about you and your character. It says a lot about you as a person deeply, and it just goes to show how creepy these people are. The fact that they're willing to go out of their way to throw parties with women who are clearly barely cracking the ages, barely reaching above any age of consent because they're degenerates who want to fuck with women that young. At the end of the day, find women your own age, brother. Don't go this far. This is actual fucking degeneracy. This is just, I don't want to keep repeating myself, right? I don't, but this is degeneracy. This is freakish behavior. Behavior, this is disgusting. And I don't want to go down the route of saying, well, it doesn't matter. She's 18. She's 18. So who cares? Why is anybody talking about this? I don't care. I don't care if she's 18. I don't care what this is. You are doing degenerate shit for a party, for views, for money, for fame. You're putting vulnerable young women at risk. <laughs> you're, you're hurting these people. You could be possibly hurting these people, traumatizing these people. Many, many things. Take better care of these situations and actually do your due diligence. The sheer fact that Willie Mac Show is sitting here saying that you guys have put zero effort into ID checking and you still went through the process of having sex with this person goes to show that you're just a bunch of lying freaks who refuse to actually take accountability and refuse to accept the fact that you guys are freaks. You're, you're just, again, you're just trying to cover it up. I mean, literally, these dudes are spurging out on Twitter, getting extremely upset at the sheer fact that people are calling them pedos, even though you did this to yourself. Let's just say that this is all just a pure and utter joke. Let's just say you're playing this off as a massive joke because you think it's funny. What in your right mind 
thinks that playing the joke off like you're a pedo and being massively confident about fucking a young girl is going to make people believe you're not a pedo and that you're just an innocent guy when you're playing into the problem in itself. Maybe use your fucking brain for once and try to defend yourself instead of going on your stream saying you you don't care and, and, and basically doing the equivalent of saying I like him younger as young as possible. You know what I mean? D maybe maybe don't do that. Maybe uh, <laughs> maybe just don't do that. Maybe don't go on stream and do that. Maybe don't be known as the guy who uh, who's into little kids. Uh, maybe maybe don't make yourself out to be that guy. But anyways, guys, I don't want to keep rambling on about the subject. I feel like I've kind of repeated myself a lot here and I'll see you guys next time. And if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. And if you guys really, really, really love my channel and videos and want to show support to the channel, feel free to become a member. It starts at only $2 a month. I know, lower than most channels. And it comes with perks like special emotes for live streams, members only live streams, and just many more perks. But anyways, guys, I don't want to keep rambling on and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.